Hello and welcome to my review of the Xperia Z Launcher and Xperia Z Lock Screen. So, in this video, we're going to mainly discuss about these two items and let's start with the lock screen. As you can see, it has a pretty smooth animation and it, it rather changes depending on where you touch on the screen as you can see you can either swipe to the right to manage your tracks, your music tracks or swipe to the left to access your camera you cannot lock by swiping very slow as you can see you can see that when I swipe very slow the phone doesn't unlock you need to swipe with a fair amount of speed to unlock your phone so let's go to the other category the Xperia Z Launcher as you can see it has custom icons and widgets so the first one we're going to discuss about is the Walkman widget here you get a preview of the album and the name of the track you're currently playing and you can play, pause, skip forward or go back if you want the next is the recent calls widget with it you can directly call a contact and then move to your call log as you can see you can resize this widget depending on your needs next it's the clock widgets so as you can see you can have different options of clocks either an analog one black or white or a digital one and a binary clock then it's the photo widget which is pretty good as you can see it has a very smooth animation and a good looking UI and you can resize it too you can e either make it very big or very small you can make it take up half of your screen horizontally or vertically <laughs> so next we're going to discuss about the weather widget as you can see once you tap it it unfolds and presents you with the uh, weather forecast for day, night and the three upcoming days and it also gives you the options to see a 15 day forecast at akuweather.com so this widget have settings too so in here you can set your location based either on your GPS or you can search for your city but let's leave it here last but not least let's talk about the toggle widget with it you can either add a widget that has all toggles and unfolds into a bigger one or add one toggle at a time so I think that that was all about widgets so now we will focus at the launcher itself as you can see when you tap on a specific empty area of one home screen a menu pop up pops up and you have lots of choices here one choice is to add a home screen by simply 
swiping to the left or right and hitting the plus ba up button. So I don't think what's the maximum number of home screens, but I think that's it, about 10 to 15 home screens. And here you can add widgets by simply pressing the widget icon. So the good thing about this launcher is that when you are in a home screen that it is fully occupied, when you go to add a widget, it automatically automatically gets you to a, an empty home screen. So you never miss a widget. And you can add as many widgets as you want. Even the same ones. Next it gives you the options to add app shortcuts. and launcher icon actions as you can see open app drawer, toggle tod dock bar toggle customizations menu toggle status bar, toggle notifications and etc then it's wallpapers so it has several Xperia wallpapers in here but my favorite one as you can see is the white Xperia Z1 and as you saw right now when you select a wallpaper it doesn't go back it remains on the wallpaper's peep picker so you can change it right away and it gives you the options to manage your apps go to system settings or lock desktop but let's view the launcher settings here under this tab you can access your home screen settings how many ma vertical or horizontal margins do you want to add then it's the dock bar options the app drawer options such as the paint background opacity I have set it in 50% which comes in stock then it's buttons and gestures so I have set the home button actions to open app drawer and you can select the swipe up or swipe down pinch in or pinch out action to do anything you want from opening an app to go to recent apps, show notifications and etc then it's general and appearance so when you first install your launcher it doesn't have the Xperia icons it has the stock ones so if you want the Xperia icons you need to go here and tap on Xperia T it will give you the Xperia icons and then you have the options to backup or restore so let's do a backup to see how quickly it is so as you can see it's done so it's fairly quick and in the last tab you have the options to check for updates but I don't think it will show an update because I'm currently at the latest version of this launcher so as you can see it said you're running the latest version and you can also restart the launcher I think that we covered all the things that should be covered. Anything that you want to ask, just hit me on my YouTube channel or or leave a comment down below. And last but not least, if you like this video, please consider to subscribe to my channel. So, until next time, bye-bye.